So the new Daisy update 1.07 has just hit the testing servers. Now don't get too excited as this is mainly just an update to fix some major bugs. But we do have some new content to look forward to. The major one being the new repeater carbine that's been added shooting the .357 round. I haven't got a chance to PvP with it yet but I'm expecting it to do some serious damage as it shoots the .357 round which is a pretty chunky round. Unfortunately we don't get to see the magnum come in this update which is surprising as it also shoots the same round. These are the animations and sounds of the new weapon. Here is the ammo and box if any of you are interested in that. For some reason they have added a new shotgun round which is now the shittiest ammo in the game. Let me introduce you to the rubber bullet, it can be fired by all shotguns and you'll probably never kill anything with it. <laughs> However, if you have a friendlier playstyle you can use it to potentially knock out and scare other players. If you do decide to use it, it shoots like a slug. The new and final major feature of this patch is the amusement parks. The ones that I could find was this ferris wheel on the docks of Cherno and the bear set up in a car park in Saragino. I'm sure there are more and they could make for some interesting PvP locations, perhaps a chance to get yourself the new repeater. I should also point out I found this rather strange structure in the northwest woods. There used to be some sort of bridge here but now it's been replaced by this poorly textured tunnel. I can only assume they are working on the unfinished arena in the future as this road leads right up to it. Allegedly the inventory books has been fixed which is a godsend as that's been sending us PC players crazy. The thermometer should also now work. The player built gates are now easier to open but now open and close slower. Base building is now made easier as you get an extra plank from cutting up a log with a hacksaw and you can get an extra log from most trees. For some reason the map is now full screen, I personally preferred it when it was handheld. There was a few more smaller bugs fixed but that was pretty much it for this update and let me know what you thought down below.